Am I... Am I doing it? Am I live? Oh, I gotta, like, move it over. There you go. <laughs> this is the new background music. <laughs> Heck yeah, new background music. Am I live? Oh, I'm live there. My phone just went off. That's when you know I'm like- <gasps> I have a candle! I forget to light this candle every time I start a stream. I forget I want to light this candle. And now I can't. Because I try to light it every stream. And we'll see how far down I could burn it. Right now we're right here. So each time I stream, we're gonna burn it a little more. Plus it gives the room a good smell. And we need that. Good smell, good vibes. You know what I'm saying? Good smell, good vibes. There we go. Alright. Oh, Anna! <laughs> Hi, Anna. Welcome in on time per usual. You never miss it. What would I do without you, Anna? My number one stan. How's the- how's the- how's the My Singing Monsters background music? I think it goes hard. <laughs> wee woo wee woo with the police. We about to not arrest. I keep forgetting that like, well actually you arrest people on the police game. But it's mainly just shooting. I have um, what's it called? Police patrol? I have a patrol one, but that one's like really freaking boring. Unless like you're seriously into role play, <laughs> you would probably die without me. Okay, Anna. Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. But yeah, there's like a patrol one where you freaking um, what do you say? You just go around and you look at parking meters and you see if their tags are expired. And honestly, I don't think I can make a thing out of that. I'm a boring person. Ain't no way I can make freaking content out of that. Do you like my sloth art? It's beautiful. It just goes two, one, two, one. Oh, I see. It's messed up for me, so. Uh, I wish I could show you what it looks like. Actually, I can. This is what it looks like for me. Just like one, then two, and then all that. It's <laughs> I can't see the actual like little peaks. But... Yeah, we'll do, um, police shootout today. And I knew freaking Oswald was gonna come in to the game for Dreamlight Valley. And that's why I'm, like, not shocked. Because Jafar said it has to be the first creation that sparked all the- the imagination of all the other creations. So when Jafar said that, I was like, alright, it's Oswald. Sadly, it's Oswald. <laughs> it's a police trip from the underground. Um... But yeah, that's, uh, I'm not shocked at all. I just hope he comes with cute stuff. That's my only thing. I really do hope he comes with cute stuff. Because if not, it's going to be really disappointing. And I hope his house isn't ugly. His house needs to fit in. <laughs> you tried standing up? Great. Girl, it's all going to be black and white. Ah. That's not bad, though. It could be cute black and white. Like, cartoony vibes. Plus, it'll give, like, it'll help with, like, people who do, like, gothic looks. I think it, I think it won't be too bad. But, we'll say goodbye to my, my little monsters. I'm breeding... I forget what this one's called. I think I could see it in the collection. Or is the... There we go. I think it's, it's this one. The Trox. He's my favorite one. He's got the best noise. This one and this one's pretty good. I like him. The Bog Bo Bogart. I like him a lot too. I'm selling half my sofa next weekend. It's happening. Oh, that's so weird. I hate change. I'm trying. We're looking at houses now. But man, I would hate freaking change. Okay, we're gonna put that on the side. Oh, okay, yep. Look, witness all my mess back there. We love that. Is it that out? Okay. Boop. Please shoot out. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Live apartment. Live apartment tour once I move. Let's freaking go. I'm gonna judge all your decor. I was looking at one house. One house had like a kitchen island and I'm kind of like kind of into it. The only thing I'm like worried about is just like location. I just want to be able to like live in a safe location. Alright, here we go. 
last time, if I remember, we did we dealt with someone who was stealing gas. Also, when my new batch of fabric samples come, you are helping me. Let I'll I'm willing. I'll do it. Last time we shot people, I doubt I doubt we did. Come on, not us. Okay. We did stalker at the motel, hostage at the station, parking lot brawl, and stealing fuel. Bro, my phone explodes each time you stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so we'll do stealing merchandise and no contact with security? Let's actually do that one. No contact with security. What does that mean? No contact. Is it like a no contact order? No contact with security. I have Is that supposed to be like a protection order? Or like they're trying security trying to escort someone out? Oh. Mmm. Yummy, yummy textures. Oh, there we go. Now I can see it. Is it me? Is this game quiet? Is this, is this, I'm sorry. Is this game a little quiet? Is this game a little quiet? It seems to be dissolving my CPU. So we're gonna think this stream will be fine if I don't record the gameplay because I think it needs a little, a little bit more of a break. Okay. Alright. I'm the security. <laughs> Alright. No contact with store staff at security. Report no contact with the local supermarket. Neither security nor the employee. Oh! The reporting party is the owner of the store chain. So, we got a call and no one's reaching out? Oh gosh, I don't remember to play how to play. Q. Q is our thing. Radio. Someone just ran. Hello! Report your arrival. Dispatch, show me 1023. Information has been reported. Okay. Hey! How you doing? Hello? Well, well, well. Who do we have here? A police officer. A star of our police force, huh? Yeah. My sister and her husband were at this motel the other day. And, you know, there was some kind of drug bust. Okay. My brother-in-law says they barely escaped with their lives. I never did a drug bust. exaggerating, and he always over. Yeah, it wasn't a drug bust. Never mind. What's going on? I didn't do anything. Guess. What do you mean you guess? Relax. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions. You didn't see anything disturbing around the market or in the store yourself? No, not really. I was just at the ATM. I didn't go any further. What? Anything going on? None of your business. It's hard to say. I won't keep you. Thank you for your time. Okay, bye. Don't hit me in the back of my head when I walk away. Who are you? Who are you? Hello? Why are you walking, huh? 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 Yeah. What is it? As you can see, I'm a little busy. You're walking in the freaking fire line. What are you doing? I think you'll find a moment for a police officer. He's walking too. What is going on here? No, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I really need to respond to this email. Uh, sure. What are you doing? That guy just died. He just died. Wait, I mean, is there, is there just a lot of, hello? He could really screw things up. What? Who, 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 who could screw things up? Huh? Are we panicking? Uh, are you waiting for someone? My friend, he went to get nachos because of the game tonight. Ooh. And I think he got stuck between the shelves. Stuck how? What do you mean stuck? Hey, how you doing? Uh. People are so freaking rude. And while you were waiting, didn't you notice anything disturbing in the stir? No, no, no. I don't think so. Unless you're talking about that woman who almost ran into me. But other than that, nothing. Okay. Sure. Thanks anyways. Goodbye. Okay. Is the audio... I can't tell if the audio is a little too low. I'm just going to keep raising it. Everything looks fine here. Talk to the store owner. 
Is everything okay? Hello. Damn job. Hater. And I could have gone to that garage, fussed with the parts, and not given a shit. Sh oh, uh, um. What? What? The police? Uh, what is it? How can I help you? Uh, I need to talk to the owner or manager of the store. Can you tell me where I can find him? He's probably hanging around the bakery section. Take a left all the way to the end. Is something wrong? We didn't call the police. That's what I'm trying to establish. There wasn't anything going on here today that seems strange. Uh, the franchise owner can't get in touch with you. Do you know anything about this? Franchise owner? I'll go talk to the manager. Oh, oh, I see. So the person who owned the store can't get in touch with the store manager? Is that is that the case here? Customers can be, you know, weird. If we throw some items on special offer, then it's every man for himself. But in general, today is just like any other day. Nothing special. What's going on here? This is weird. Hmm, that, that's strange. You know, actually, about half an hour ago, some, I don't know, officials or something? They, they said it was a quality check, that we were stocking the shelves and that we're not under pricing or any of that kind of nonsense. What's going on here? Is it typical for, of them to arrive at such late hours? No, th this is the first time it's happened. There were a few of them. They picked up security and someone from the crew, too. I don't know, maybe, maybe they have a problem with them? What? They picked up security and someone from the crew? So they took security away. Are they planning on doing something? Hey, sure. One auto. What? Have you seen them before? Those controllers? I saw one about three days ago here in the store. He was talking to the security guard, but basically, what's the big deal? I wouldn't have saw the suspect. Oh. So there's something going on, or something's planned. Right? One auto. The attackers arrived seen in one car. A witness reports to us that he recently saw one of the attackers talking to a security guard. Can we see the car outside? Is this like a quiet hostage situation going on? That like, it's just not known? Huh. Oh, hello. Nice mustache. Hello. What's up, dude? I'm in a hurry, okay? Okay, you do not look like the way you would talk, but yeah, sure. Call us, but maybe a little bit more politely, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Man from the police department? Okay. Sorry, okay? Yeah, I'll forgive you. If you're just hanging around, you didn't see anything suspicious, no one acted strange? Behave. Not really, but... Oh, but... They moved the nacho shelf and I can't find them. It's this guy. Buddy's waiting for me because of the game tonight. And it uh uh so uh stop playing dumb. Did she say something or not? Uh, no. Uh goodbye. And then the <laughs> nachos are over there. Yeah, go find the nachos. Have a good one. Bro can't freaking find nachos. I don't understand how hard it can be to get lost in a grocery store. Paper towels. Hey, wait, how you doing? Back off. Uh, excuse me? How about more politely? You're talking to an officer. Back off. I'll I will back you. Tell me what you're doing here. Nothing. What does it look like? It's not a crime. Okay. You don't want to mess with me. I'm fit to the T. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Mm, typically, uh, nothing strange. Hello, owner? Coal wine, ew. Are you owner? Can I have bread? I'm hungry. Close. Hello? Yeah, can I help you? Uh, good evening, sir. Are you the manager here? We got a call from a chain store owner. Frozen food? Sure we do. Uh, they're in the fridges. Uh, you have to go through. Uh, anyway, I'll come with you. Uh, show you. I get it. I immediately get it. He's trying to keep it quiet. Go ahead. Go ahead, show me. There's someone- they're listening. Oh, someone just left. 
Ooh, hey. Keep it down. I'm glad you came. You must help me. Mm -hmm. These people are dangerous. They threatened me. Shh, just keep it lower. Who threatened you? I don't know who they are. They came in a while ago under the guise of an inspection. They took the security guard into the back room and they told me to stay here and not talk to anyone. Oh. Okay. Are they armed? Yeah. One of them waved a gun in my face. They don't seem to be joking. So something's tied with the security guard. You're not hurt? No. They haven't done anything to me. Still, there's a guy in a green jacket hanging around behind the paper towel rack. Ah. He's supposed to watch me so I don't do anything stupid. Got it. You said they took the security guard into the back room. Yes, they picked him up. That's why we haven't been in touch. Someone's watching him, too. I heard one of them talking to him. Wait a minute. Huh? Did he use a name, a nickname? Cletus. Cletus! Cletus! Uh, that's, that's a strange name, isn't it? Cletus! I'll check out. Arrest the suspect who's watching the owner. Well, is he like... <laughs> hey! Hey! You watching me? You watching me? Oh, no. Can I just tase him? How am I... Stun him! What the hell? I told you I wasn't going to talk to you. Talk to you? Everyone here is so polite. Take it down a notch. Beat the shit out of you, cop. That's an arrestable offense. I have a witness who testified that you threatened him. Now you're threatening me. Hands up on the ground. You have the right to an attorney. You have the right to remain silent, and you have the right to be me. You're <laughs> kidding me. Yeah, freak you! Oh, cool. He's going down quiet though. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> Suspect number one, arrest Mundo. You want to talk to me now? You're going to regret this. I'm going to regret me. Oh, whatever. Whatever. You don't know me. You don't know what I've been through. This grocery store has seen days. Suspect neutralized. Okay. Let's check our little notes. Mmm. Let's witness. witness. Attacker, security guard, person guarding the restroom, introduce himself as CS, better check him out. Oh, okay. There's someone in the restroom we have to talk to. Many offenders, we got him. Thugs monitoring the shopkeeper. Yep. Suspect neutralized. Okay. So there's someone in the bathroom. Oh, gosh. Well, that at least I know. Excuse me. If it... There's also a car. Should we go outside and see if we can find their car? Because sometimes that's a thing. They all came in one car. I would... Hey! Police? What's up? What is it? What are you doing? Why don't we make it a rule and that I ask the questions, okay? Okay, well, attitude. Rude. Do you work I'm here? I'm a security guard. What? Then why are you out here? Security, where's your ID? Your name, please? Sayonara. How's that? Haha, <laughs> you're slick. You're so slick. You're so... Just let me, please. 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 <sighs> Got a flashlight. Not afraid to use it. I'll blind you. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's my car. I was like, who the frick is car is like that? <laughs> Look at my hand. I'm so bouncy. Got elasticity. Can I open this? Closed. Dang, I was going to try to see if I could find their car. And I'm not going through all these cars. Alright, let's go to the bathroom. Ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee. <laughs> I got a bouncy hand. My joints are perfect. I got the bouncy joints. Hello. Hey! Who hello, hello. The restrooms are closed. <gasps> I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, Cletus. Police officer, I'm asking you to let me through. Just face the wall. Don't do anything stupid, okay? I know neither you're neither an employee nor a customer at the store. I don't know what you're talking about. This is bullshit. <laughs> Didn't your parents have a better idea for a name, Mr. Cletus? There, against the wall. I don't like repeating myself. You want to arrest me? For what? For being a nerd with those glasses. A few facts about you, buddy. First... You're wanted by the police in several states. The next, 
I know you and your Girl Scout Club are up to something at the local warehouse. So what do you say? You gonna talk? Shit! Damn you! You didn't... Well, you didn't say cop. I wish you well, too. Really. <laughs> Get down! On your knees! <laughs> yes. Yes. On your knees. Look up at me like that. Yes. Alright. Let me get these cuffs on. They're not fluffy either. To jail, you rot! Forevermore! I'm not saying anything else without a lawyer. Just freaking knee him in the face, dude. It's so perfect. I would be a horrible cop. Hello! That's a med kit. Okay, let's call it in. Uh, this is neutralize. Sending back up. You guys say you're sending back up every time, and I have no one. Suspect and his accomplices are armed. Second suspect neutralized. So far, we're pretty calm about it. But why would you guard the bathroom? You're so weird. There's nothing back here. That's closed. <gasps> oh, oh, you're the real security guard. That. Oh, the guy outside is the fake one. Got it. He scared me. Hello. Quick, untie me. We don't have much time. Much time. Are you from security? Did they do anything to you? No, they didn't do anything to me. Wait, wait, wait. I'm almost... Okay, thanks, man. What about the guy by the bathroom? Did you take care of him? Yeah, he won't be a problem. He was supposed to be guarding me while the others did their thing in the back of the building. This is the most ridiculous store robbery I've ever seen. It's very... It's a very quiet store robbery. Um, I know from a witness that you've been in contact with the big boss. Apparently he was hanging around here. You guys were talking. Yeah. He offered me a deal, which I heartily thanked him for. I have nothing to do with this gig, if that's what you're trying to imply. Mm. Why didn't you call the police? About us talking? I don't know. I guess I didn't take him seriously. I didn't think he'd seriously pull a stunt like that. Besides, I cut the subject short. No specifics were given. Okay. Uh, did they take any other hostages? Are there any wounded? No, I, d I don't think so. That's good. How many are there? Four or five in total? Two definitely had guns. Their boss is handling things in the back room. There was another guy hanging around in the alley behind the store. We saw him. I don't know if he and the boss have guns. Then there's one guy from outside the group. What? Do you know any of them? Have you seen them before? Yeah, the, the boss. That's Norm McCall. McCall. We met some time ago. I don't know the rest of them, but he's definitely tight with them. You can tell they've known each other tight. since they were kids. They're also well organized. Oh. Okay, thanks for the update. Wait, the one from outside the group. That's their informant. I heard he's hanging around the market. He keeps an eye on the situation and reports if anything goes wrong. I don't think he has a gun. Maybe you should try putting some pressure on him. I think Is this the Nachos guy? Good thought, check it and out. The store manager, is he safe? Yeah, he's chilling. He's fine. The guy who's guarding him is already in handcuffs. Here's the key to the exit behind the building. It's that door next to the restrooms. Just be careful out there. These guys don't fuck around. Hey, yo, language. Try to stay under the radar. Okay. Lots to call in. Got it. Norm McCall. According to the security guards, the main assailant's name is Norm McCall. I'm asking you to run a background check on him. We got a little birdie here. He robbed a couple electronic stores, even got convicted for it. Okay. And there's someone. Could also have extra help from someone watching the situation from the outside, broadcasting it over the radio. So I now I have to go out and look for him. Okay, so is it not Nacho's guy? Is it you? Is it you? Hello. Who are you? What are you doing? Well, well, well. Who do we have here? The star of our police force, huh? My mm. sister and her husband were at the brother buddy's pro Never mind. You already told me What's this. Going on? No, not really. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'm sniffing you too. What do you call an otter with new glasses? <laughs> A sea otter. <laughs> all right, all right, Gabby. All right, welcome in, Gabby. I see how it's gonna be. Are you the informant? Nachos, and nachos. But maybe I could grab beer. Okay, so you're not it. Neutralize the other criminals. The other two? What about the informant? Who's the informant, huh? There's three of you out here. It's about to start, and that jackass is gone. 
All right, it's not you. What about you? Oh, are you doing it? You say you're doing emails. I told you I didn't see anything. I'm sorry. Wait, what? What? No, there's got to be someone. Well, well, well. Oh, it's you. How did you get all the way over no, here already? Really. All right, I'm going to talk to the store manager real quick because this game does have a pattern of where whenever you do get new information, you should talk to the like the people that you've previously talked to. So I'll go ahead and talk to him. Hello. Uh, is there anything else I can help you with? The man who was guarding you won't be a problem anymore. You can calm down. Really? Oh, that's a relief. I was really afraid I'd get shot in the head. You're fine. The guy who I think is their boss said not to touch anyone. I, I mean, don't shoot anyone unnecessarily, so they didn't. Okay. I couldn't even warn the customers because I was being watched the whole time. You're fine, bro. Stand under the radar, okay? I'll check back and see if I can find the security guard and find out what this is all about. Try the restrooms. You'll find an exit behind the building. No, I got that already. Well, I already got him. Threat. What? Threat. Armed robber. Okay. So we already knew all that. We're not going through that door. Mm, gotta add a little bit of spice. What do fish take to stay healthy? Vitamin C. Alright. Oh, I'm getting tortured today. <gasps> hey! How you doing? Hey! Ah, uh, don't freaking move. I'll freaking stun you. Like, oh, shit. What do you want? These guys are super calm for being robbers. What are you doing here? I'm contemplating. Why? You're not allowed? No, you're not. I know you're helping your friends. Why the stunt? What are you guys up to? Wait, I'm just supposed to watch, okay? I didn't put my hands on anything. You're an affiliate. If you ask me, you're just as dirty as the rest of them. You better start talking. The thing was Norm's dumb idea. He wanted to try and pull something like this to see how the guys would handle it. Oh, great. He planned this when he got out of jail. He didn't want to do other people's work, so he figured he'd take care of his own group. He sat for a while, but it wasn't easy. It got to him. Solitary confinement and all that. Mm hmm. Okay. Where is the Norm guy now? In the warehouse. Besides him, can I find anyone else in there? Not in the warehouse, but one of the guys is guarding the back room on the other side of the building. Back room on the other side of the building? You can help me with him. You can blab up. No, you can help me. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Tell me what to do. Dude, this guy is so chill. Do we have to arrest him? We should arrest him, but he's actually helping. He's not really in on it, like, too deep. Go to where you can call him. Don't play games, all right? I'm sure you'll do something. I'll handle it myself. Okay, go to where you, go to where you were, and call him. Sure, sure. Is this gonna work? Hey! Don't take another step. You hear me? Calm down. Put the gun down. I I thought he was running away. Put the gun down before you get into a bigger mess. You should have kept your nose out of my business. No, I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill him. I that was not but, the plan. I'm contemplating. Wait. He he sat for a while. Okay. In the warehouse. Not in the warehouse. Uh, sure. Oh, this dude's so chill. Yes! Let's freaking go! This dude's so chill! I just bopped your friend in front of you! You know what? He knows what's right. He knows that this isn't right. Oh, you're so cool. Let's go. That's what I want to do. I just thought he was running away. Boink. That's it, right? I won't go down for their dumb robbery. I don't think he should. Really? Dude, you're here and you helped him. Come on, you're about to go to police station. What? Oh, come on! You couldn't just let this slide? I would have let it slide. I'm not- I'm not uh, relating myself to my own person, okay? I don't want to. But I also don't want a bad score. I'm sorry! You were 
are so nice. I must the informant in the supermarket. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. You. I'm sorry. I didn't want to. Are you the cop that got quick? I don't like fools like him, but I don't like cops even more. Fuck you. All right, everyone's just gonna say f me today. All right. Third suspect neutralized. Backup's on the way, I'm sure. Fourth suspect neutralized. Backup's on the way, I'm sure. Check out the assault and solitary confinement at the jail. One of the suspects said Norm was in solitary confinement in prison. What's in the file about that? He attacked an inmate with a razor blade on the outdoor walkway. It's impossible to prove, but based on several recorded visits by a known member of the Detroit Mafia, it probably wasn't random. Still have an inform I still have information in my files that he went through a rough time in prison. He was free a frequent beneficiary of a hospital of the hospital ward, beatings and other local phenomena. Dang. Guy so Detroit Mob visited him. Security guard told me that the man behind the door was the leader of the group. Alright. So now this is like the guy where we interrogate. Not interrogate, but talk down. Get fit with rage fit. Alright. Hey! Can I shoot you with a taser from here? Bink! Are you freaking kidding me? Hey! Hey, don't come any closer. Don't even try. I mean, didn't you see me walk in? Put the gun down and don't be a peepee head. Let's talk. Maybe we can... How about what? I'm not going to jail again. Yeah, right. All right, all right, let's calm down. Okay, so, oh shoot. We have two arguments that are good. Wait, did I not get enough information? No, I got all the information this time. Oh shoot. Okay, so on this job, he had a man inside, a store security guard. No, I'm missing information. Oh, dip. He prefers to avoid bloodshed. No, he does. Oh shoot! His accomplices are schoolmates. Oh, I'm missing information. Ah oh, no! I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Hold on. Let's see. Oh my gosh! I'm all the way back here. How you doing? Like. Talk to him. I'm okay. I want to get this Why? right, so that's Wait. why I'm. I'm the thing. So we're gonna talk to. Not in the warehouse. Uh, sure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to everyone once we get all this information. But I don't see. Maybe we can like look for cars or whatever. Okay. 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 <laughs> I just love how it's just like pink on the floor. Immediate. No boo-boos or nothing. Alright, there you go. Give me that. I'm sorry. That's it, right? What? I'm sorry! I wish I didn't have to, but I must. Bink. Alright. The other two criminals are neutralized. The objective what does it say immediate. What does it say whenever we do this? Fuck you. Alright. Thank you. Love that. Can I get my version now? Thank you. Love that. Let's talk on the radio. Third. Done. Okay, yeah. We already knew that. Can I? Am I like... Can I please? There we go. There we go. Neutralize the two other... They've been neutralized. <sighs> rude. Just rude. This car. Can't do anything to this car? I looked at that car, but this car I can't look at? My objective, my objective did not change, even though I got them. Hmm. Maybe I need to look around on this side? Oh, was this their car? Well, either way, I can't even freaking look at the license plate. And there's nothing over here. That's not even a real door. <laughs> uh, 
All right, so let me see if I can talk to the security guard or the store owner and talk to the other. Because everyone's neutralized now. What's this? Oh, close. Doesn't matter. Fuck you. Fuck. Okay. Mm, all right, let's talk to you. What's the situation? I'm on it. Don't show your face to anyone for now. I already did What's that. What's the situation? Tell me more. Yeah. About us talking? Mm. No, I don't. I do. Four. Yeah, th good luck with Nothing there. What about you? I'm not. Okay. What the frick? I, how am I supposed to get more information? You're going to. Oh my gosh. All of you suck. Uh, is there anything. The guy. Mm, no, I actually don't see where I can even fish out more information. Not okay, what about you? Yes. Good. And have you checked the back room yet? Not yet. I know, but I know people are, have guns are dangerous. The scrutiny. It's just plain rubbish. I didn't see any weapons. Maybe somebody's got it wrong. Maybe it's I don't know a phone. Who would want to rob a supermarket? That's stupid. Okay, it doesn't matter right now. They're dangerous, that's all. Stay here and no one's- okay. Well, that didn't give me much. Yes. Good. And I didn't see any- mm. You? A... Nothing. Huh, I just don't see- Whoa, what's happening there? Oh, it's reflection. Oh, never mind. What's going on? No, not real. Mm. Okay, so we have prison visitation. Mission. Oh, we have mission neutralize the two other suspects. I did. What do you mean, suspects arrested one? You're the one that's failing on that. Did it? Did it? Freaking bug. Is that what happened? Did it? Did it bug? Where am I supposed to get more information? Key. Suspect if I invite no hostages. They arrived in one car. I need to find that car. Do I have to like look at all these cars? So because you can look and find a car. None of these cars. I check that blue car over there, and that's nothing. 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 Usually it would just, you know, let me know. That thing would have a license. Okay. That one's just illegal. Where am I supposed to be looking? You gotta stop leaving, bro. It's so weird. What are you doing? What's so special about this freaking thing? Mm. I think it did bug, though. Do I want to restart it one more freaking time? Is it because I tapped in too fast? Hmm. All right, we'll we'll try one last time. We'll talk to him first. What's the situation? I'm on it. Okay. Neutralize. Hey, how you doing? Like, I'm Kay. contemplating. Why? You're not allowed. Wait. I'm. The thing was. He. He sat for a while. But it wasn't easy. In the warehouse? Not in the warehouse. Uh, okay, sure. Alright, there you go. Frick's sake. If this doesn't work, then I'm just gonna go in and just try my best and figure out which one out of the two is the right one. But I want to get enough information for it to all be, like, valid. Alright. Good man. I don't like me. All right. Yep. You don't like me. That's it, right? Uh, what? you're arrested. No, it still freaking says neutralize the other two criminals. Everyone's neutralized except for this one now. I still have 15.5k points to spend, bro. That's insane. The loyalty. 
Yeah, I can't even look at this freaking car. And I'm assuming this is the car they came in. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go in. He was visited by the mafia. Let me also like hover all these over all these. Cool. Now, suspects arrested one. What do you mean? Is it still gonna say one? This game is broken. All right, all right, whatever. I guess we'll just go. Well, this is stupid. Hey! <laughs> hey, how you doing? Don't mind. Hey, don't come any closer. Don't uh, even try. Uh, uh, all right. Here we are again. Two out of four. I'm not going to jail again. Okay. Oh, shoot. So... Accomplices are all schoolmates. The attackers have arrived at the scene in one car. From the security guard, we learn that they deduce from attackers from the conversation that they knew each other. Um, I don't know about that one. He's no stranger to prison. We know from the suspect that he's been in prison before. He robbed several electronic stores. One of his accomplices told us... Alright, I'm gonna do the ones that, like, have all the information. So, let's see how this one goes. Here you go. You've been in some time, but for smaller crime... You know this isn't club fed. Depends on how one can set themselves up. There's some people who think the joint is a five star hotel. I mean, true, very true. You don't learn from your mistakes, do you? I hear you planned this thing right after you got out of prison. Sort of wait for. There's an opportunity. I took it. I mean, you're honest. I hear. I hear you had one very regular guy in prison. He's the one that got you uh, this. Did you plan this with him? You know, the people this guy works for aren't going to be happy you blew it. They'll get you. You won't last three days without protection. I haven't botched anything yet. And even if I did, I, I know a little. Maybe maybe more than a little. Just a little. If it's worth a little. Oh, like you know information about the your boss? Ow. Okay. I'm not going to get this right, by the way. I think I don't have enough. I think we're going to end up fighting. His accomplices are scummy. He prefers to avoid bloodshed. None of the hostages were injured. Is we learned suspect had forbidden his men to use weapons. Suspects, yeah, I think it was beat up. On his, on this job, he had man on the inside security guard. Mm. We find a security guard. He's being guarded by an armed accomplice. No, I don't think that's right. I think I'll do prefers to avoid bloodshed. None of the hostages got hurt. This is gonna help you. Just don't screw it up now, okay? I don't know. Or are you gonna give me a medal or what? Yes! I'll give you one of those chocolate medals. I know you don't want to get into the bigger mess than you already are. You forbade your people to shoot hostages. I had hoped that the silence and relative peace would keep us from the arrival of the cops. <laughs> As you can see, it didn't work out. <laughs> no, it didn't. Why did you give your people guns? You don't want bloodshed. Why risk it? Who told you I don't want bloodshed? The fact that it hasn't happened yet is due to my amazing sense of humor, okay? But I have no problem blowing someone's head off. Like you, for example. Alright, I know you gave the store owner quite a scare. I'm not gonna put your BS on the report if you stop your BS right now and put the gun down. You know how the law works. Every word and every moment works against you. Oh look, it's a bit like you. Every time you try to lay some bullshit on me, you get a bullet between the eyes. Ah! It'll match that stupid face. I guarantee it. Oh! Ooh, that was the wrong one. What was the right one then? The security guard? You locked up the security guard to keep up appearances? That he's not cooperating with you? I shut him down because he knows how to defend himself. I don't need a fight. Oh. You don't need a security guard anymore and you decide to screw him over, right? I never needed him. I don't know what you're getting at. The shopkeeper saw you two once. Him and you, one of your men. What did he go in for? What did you give him? He didn't go for anything, man. What are you talking about? Sure, we wanted him to make it easy for us. But if he didn't want to make money, his loss. We took care of it ourselves. As you can see. True. Alright, so that wasn't it. His accomplices were all schoolmates. Great. Good. Good to know. Alright. Let's go. Cops about to die. No, I'm not. No. I'm not. Ooh. That was a good one. Ooh. That was a good one. Hi. Ouch. 
You're dead. You're... Uh, you're dead. What? Hide! Ouch! Alright, in the neck. Oh, in the shoulder. What's going on here? Yes! <gasps> oh, I almost knocked my candle. Ooh! Alright, time to move the candle. That scared the freaking crap out of me. Oh, my candle went, like, real quick. Oh, you're dead. You're dead. I freaked up so hard. Whatever. Could it? Could two do it? Maybe it's just like you have to be like really perfect. Is this your car, by the way? What are you trying to steal? I'm sorry, I killed you. Suspect was killed. Spending a corner. You guys say that all the freaking time, and you send no one. Mm. Dang, man. I'm so upset that I didn't freaking get it. Suspect was killed. <sighs> you hate to see it. What are you trying to steal? Last time we were here, there was, like, drugs here. I don't see anything. Mm, there's nothing here? I'm looking. Where are your drugs at? Closed. Hmm. There's literally nothing here. What were you stealing? Metal? Chips Ahoy cookies? Closed. I have to walk all the way back. Hey, your boss is dead! Boo, your boss is dead. Uh, so dead. Your boss is dead, haha. <laughs> Loser. Alright, another day done. Another job perfectly accomplished by the one and only Nestaku. Let's. I'm stuck in my door. Let's freaking go! How bad did we do? Let me know! 87%. Oh, so just because we killed him, finish a mission with no contact to security. So we did everything right. Suspect arrested, one out of two. I guess he was the second one. Civilians killed 11? There was 11 here? Oh my gosh. Suspect's going away too. That's great. We did great. We did fine. And we live. The news. Editorial investigation. Did the supermarket security guard really stick himself in the restroom? Um, I couldn't get out of there, but if I could, I've been able to. Mm, 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 I think he was in on it. Maybe. But I just didn't see how we can get the other information. Suspicious situation at the local supermarket? A real robbery? Or just... Is it just fooling around? I think it was just fooling around. I didn't see anything. Hmm. Opponents need more time to detect you. Increase maximum speed. Sneaking. At the first bonus, at first you get a bonus for setting up a suspect during negotiation. You get extra points for a suspect's attitude. Please, that's what we need. Oh my gosh, we need that one. Keep going. Alright, so now we got stealing merchandise. This one should be good. This one should be entertaining. Show me what you got. What are you stealing? iPhones? Sour Patch Kids? I have Sour Patch Kids. I have the blue ones. Ooh, look at these. Look at these. They're blue. Gosh, they're so good. I love them. Just blue ones. I didn't even think they were real. It's too good to be true. Okay. Uh, suspect burglary at an area warehouse involvement with the incidents. No details. Of course, no details. Hello! How's everyone doing? Where's my rifle? No? No rifle? Okay. Who am I talking to first? Hmm? No one's here. Oh, <laughs> what a power stance! How you doing? Uh, let me talk to everyone out here first. That's, I think that's what I want to do. Hey, wow, you look like you are- are you hovering? Hey, are you the nacho guy? Oh, oh, I can come in here too? There's no reason for me to. How you doing? Come on, the world is totally going downhill. Drama? Oh, good morning. Good morning! Did you hear about those junkies at the motel? No. I told my sister to stay home because it's not just supermarket robberies, it's drugged out lunatics. 
Oh wow. I swear the world has gone crazy. Just a little bit. What is it? You wanted to ask me something? Uh yeah, have you seen anything out of the ordinary around here? Anything that struck you as odd, suspicious? Where's my mouse? There it is. No, I don't think so. But what is it? Just trying to figure it out for now. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Also, is that your phone? What a freaking jam! It's playing nice. Uh, hi, night, Alamis. Alamis, how you doing? Good morning. Can I help you? Yeah. Uh, have you noticed anything suspicious? No, no, nothing out of the ordinary going on here. Okay. Or so you think. Hello. Oh, nice, nice sip oh, there. Please. Did one of the boys do something wrong? Uh, no. I hope not. Have you noticed anything today that struck you as suspicious, unusual? Is he talking? I don't think he's talking. This is a y you're I don't Okay, I'll just read your lips. No, I don't think so. I don't know what you're looking for, but we're doing the honest thing here. All right, good. Good. You guys keep doing Can I go back there? This looks closed. Dang it. I thought there was going to be more clues. All right. What do you want, Power Stance man? How you doing? Good of you to come. Good to be here. How you doing? Now tell me what's going on. Some truck, and I'm sure it wasn't one of ours. Pulled up from the other side of the warehouse. Maybe I wouldn't be making a big deal if it wasn't for the fact that whoever drove it started loading our stuff into it. I'm just so blatant. <laughs> just like, all right. All right, this is mine. This is mine. In my truck I go. That is... <laughs> what gall do you have to do that? Are you sure that's not your truck? Maybe you just don't recognize it? I'm sure. I asked the driver and his friends for IDs, and they tried to tell me they forgot and that they were new. They're lying. I'd know if the boss took on someone new. Oh. If you're sure it's none of your employees and not your truck, why did you let them in? Problem is, I didn't let them in. One of the guys working in the warehouse did. Ah. He just opened the gate for them. What an idiot. I understand that you... Think again, maybe they really work here? Alright, come on. We're playing police shootout now, not interrogation simulator. I understand that you know who let them in. Yeah, I know. That's Doyle. Doyle Hawkins. Doyle! He's a big smart ass. Oh, I'm sure he is. With that name? You don't like Honestly, him? Honestly, I think this guy's got issues. Oh. This isn't the first time strange, suspicious things have happened here. Oh. We reported every one of these incidents, but the police never got here in time. The sons of bitches were long gone. And then we were the ones that looked like idiots. Oh. Strange, suspicious things. Meaning what exactly besides there's always a trail? The police weren't they looking? They searched and searched. Only they found nothing. No sign of forced entry. Not in ours or the other warehouses. They must be professionals. Or, I don't know. Do they always have their man on the inside? They could. I mean, it seems pretty easy. People who came in today, are they still here? Yeah, I guess so. But you gotta go out there and check it out yourself. I'm not gonna stick my neck out. Well, get the frick out of the I'm way! Should still be in the hall. Maybe he saw something more. I don't think the guys here did. But you can ask. It can't hurt. I already did ask. Yeah, right. In that case, I'm gonna take a look around now. Thank you! Can I go in? Ah, okay. So, I guess I should talk to these freaking three stooges. Uh, Doyle Hawkins, born in the Everglades area of Florida. Hey, hey, same. A couple misdemeanors, nothing very special. Could he be dangerous? There's no history of violence or aggressive behavior, but proceed with caution nonetheless. Oh, and one other thing you might be interested in. Doyle has a whole bunch of priors for selling stolen electronics. Interesting. Ask about reports in the area. Headquarters, I heard from a security guard that there's been a lot of sus suspicious activity in the area lately. That's right, we received a few calls from various warehouses in the area over the past month. And what were these reports about? Widespread suspicious activity, or we're dealing with criminals skilled at covering their tracks. Or, if someone's taking a piss, after all, nothing's missing anywhere. I understand over now, I'll review the situation. I mean, don't you guys keep stock? Wouldn't it be easy to tell through that? Hello! Um, on. Oh, did you hear- Uh. Uh, what is it? You wanted to ask me something? Yeah, there we go. I have this information that there shouldn't be any loading at the moment. Is that right? Well, maybe it shouldn't be. But you know how it is. Maybe someone's behind in their work and they're making it up off the schedule? 
I don't know. It's very impressive how you can talk out of your butthole. All right. Thank you. Well, the police. Did one of the boys do something wrong? Uh, there's a load in progress that it's not on the schedule. Do you know anything about that? Apparently, one of the employees is there now. You must mean Doyle. I've actually seen him walking around with boxes, but I don't think this is a police matter. Doyle is in on it. Okay. He's just doing it right now. Someone reported to us that an unauthorized truck came onto your property. You understand? I need to check it out. No, clearly you have a job and you need to do it. I just don't understand who's making such a big deal out of it. Um, wait. Let me guess. The security guard, huh? Did he call? Yes, sir. Can't give you that information. Oh, we shouldn't. Oh, we shouldn't. You're right. And you don't have to. I already know. Anyway, Royal has his trailer. It's the gray green one. You walk to the gate and you'll find it. You can go and talk to your friend if you can find him there. Okay. Great green one. So back there? Can you tell me anything more about this fellow? About Doyle? I don't really know what I can tell you. He hangs out with some strange people. One time he came in here with some bum who said he was his buddy. Actually, I don't know him that well. Dang, so he's just letting anyone in. Understand, thank you. Walk around behind it, and the trailer is right there. Okay, so now we have access to that gate. Cool. Good morning. Can I help you? Are you sure there's nothing going on in here but bothering you? No, no. Oh, you mean those guys hanging around one of the trucks right now? That's right. I don't know them, but I'm assuming the chief's got someone new on the crew. Ah, the boss didn't mention anything about new hires. Doesn't that bother you? Particularly, but if it bothers you, go over and talk to him. Okay. All right. All right. I see. So we got a lot of information on that one. Talk to the manager about suspicious person. Search the trailer with Doyle's belongings. Yeah, I'm going to talk to the manager first. Whoa. Ooh, lot, lots of stuff's going on here. Whoa, it's loud. What is that? What is that freaking strongest AC unit? Uh, am I? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to mess up. What? Where, where'd he go? Where'd the security guy go? Security guy in here? Uh, okay, security guy's in there. Where did the guy with the red shirt go? Did he go in his office? Ah, he did. Hello? You boss? Can I help you? I don't think we've summoned anyone from your side. All right, you're cringe. Your security guard called. He reports suspicious activity on your premises. Uh, I'm gonna need a minute, okay? A suspicious activity? What is it? Uh, one of your employees, Doyle Hawkins, is supposed to be in the loading zone right now, according to his schedule. Did you know anything suspicious or unusual in the house? Uh, Doyle? No, he's working the night shift tonight. Why Ooh, do you ask? he's there now, though. Security guard informed me that an unauthorized truck has entered the premises. The people who got out of the truck are not, as far as I can tell, employees of yours. Why'd you ask about Doyle? What does this have to do with him? He's part of it! Security guard suggested that Doyle let these people onto your property. I don't know what to think about this. I don't want to accuse anyone in advance, but just check it out, okay? Of course! Go down the stairs. The door to the loading area is secured with a code. The code is 4782. Remember that? We'll give you a key to the archive just in case. And that's how you get into this sector. Alright, I'll just take a picture of that, just in case uh, it doesn't tell me that later on. Alright, thank you. Did you notice anything suspicious or unusual about the warehouse? No. Are you asking about something specific? Uh, no attempt at theft. What exactly do you have in the warehouse right now? Supplies for the hardware stores. Okay. I understand, so tell me one more thing. No attempt at theft? It was a theft a few years ago. A couple of cartons of electronic equipment. <sighs> Time we were working with a large company of that type, but other than that, no peace and quiet. Is he in on it? Why would he not know that missing stuff has been missing? Anything else? I need to make some calls. Uh, yes. okay. All right, I don't want to go immediately to him though. So, code for the door, gate to the key. Oh gosh, witness saw. All right, all right. All right. It's all the information that we just came up with. Alright, let's see. <laughs> I just love how you drink your coffee. You're spilling it all over yourself. Making a mess. Alright, hopefully no one's here to bother me. Is that? Okay, that's not. Okay, so this is his spot. 
it's closed. Find a way into the trailer. <gasps> a window! No. A window. Let me climb in. I want to climb in. Find a way. What do you want me to do? What? What do you mean find a way? This window. Nope. Lock it. Break it. I can't. This this game doesn't really have a whole lot of interaction going on. Uh, I don't know what it wants me to do. Do I need to talk to the boys again? Hey, you were the one that gave me the key. Did you? No, you were not the one that gave me the key. You gave me the key. Well, the police. You must mean no. Clearly, you have a job and need to do. What an ass. Anyway. About. Okay. Doesn't. I need to ask around who could give me a key. Oh, the boss! The boss can give me a key. The boss should have a master key. If I'm right. Also, I realized I told him that the security guard called. I don't think it matters. Hey, you have a key? For him? Yeah, I need to get into the trailer of one of your men. Can you help me with that? I already talked to you about this. Please give me the key to that trailer. We've already had a conversation. You're such a goober. Thank you. That's all for now. Man has freaking hamster brain. Couldn't remember a thing we had. It's okay. I understand it. I forget a lot of things too if I don't pay attention properly. All right, give me key. Dead bodies. No. <gasps> Paper and pee jars. Oh my! Contraband. The pee is contraband. Uh oh, not the pee pee. All right, what's that? What what did we get? Action plan. In the memo, we find details the team's plan of action. For this particular case, the memo belonged to a warehouse employee who worked with the suspect. Oh! Uh, I found a can with suspicious contents. It turns out to be <gasps> moonshine! Oh my word, it's the shine. Oh, the police. Did one of the boys do You must mean Doyle. No, mm. please, and you don't have to. Can I? About yeah, I don't need to talk to him. I just want to see if I can update any information on him. No, I'm going to talk to the security guard, then the owner, and then we're going to move along to the guy. Hurry up, or they'll leave again. All right, whatever. I'm not on the timer. I already know this game. This game would never put me on a timer. Hey, you! I have a suspicion that one of your men, Doyle, is involved in trafficking contraband. Oh, I get it. So they're not really, they're not stealing stuff from the warehouse, but he's shipping moonshine. He's like doing his own smuggles on the side and they're just taking boxes of like moonshine or whatever, I bet. Uh, BS or not, I found a couple gallons of moonshine in his trailer. It all adds up. That really sounds ridiculous. Sorry, I'm gonna verify that for now. Please don't go anywhere. We'll probably need your testimony. That's all for now. Thank you. Everyone's surprised that he was dealing contraband. I mean, is that guy just everyone? Sure. Alright, let's see what's happening over here now. This is where it's gonna happen. Archive. Oh. Are there people here? Wait, are there actually people here? Oh no, this is scary! Can I bop him? Is this a bopping time? Oh shit. Oh. Yeah. What's the matter? Anything I can Sorry, do you work here? What's your name? Aaron Kenneth. What's going on? Am am I in trouble? Mm, I need to get to the loading zone. Why do you want to go there? Nobody's Alright. Alright. <laughs> I see you're stubborn. I'll show you another entrance. Yeah, I'm a cop. I'm stubborn. You and your colleagues, you're loading something into the truck now, right? Yeah, there's a lot of merchandise to go around. Some moony merchandise? That's right, a lot of stuff. The problem is, according to what I heard from the other warehouse workers, you shouldn't have been here in the first place. Get back here! Get back here! You must have stumbled in here, right? Hey! 
Stop, drop the gun out. What is Ah <laughs> No way! Stun him! Huh! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Oh my gosh, he freaking seized out. I mean that's what happens when you get tased. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. That's what he did. It's exact Where did this dweeb go? Oh no! Oh, did he did he actually escape? It looks like one of the warehouse employees might be involved in something. What's his name? Aaron Kenneth. He's very a very suspicious dude. If you can find something in him, okay, I'm looking. Indeed, we have a file. Mostly internet scams and extortion. He had a case in court. Interesting, but I somehow expected more. Wait, that's not the end of it. The suspect also had a brief history of dealing designer drugs. Well, that's more fitting. Maybe he's uh, not a top-level criminal, but he's no saint. Thanks. Over and out. Oh. Finally, but my watch gosh. Guys with gun behind that door. It's a little too late. What exactly did you see? Derek, a buddy from here brought them here. They're in the storeroom, and they have guns. Thank you. I've already... How many? The two of them, I don't know... Plus Derek. Okay, please move to a safer place. I'm gonna have to go in there. I need to find Aaron. I hope he's okay. Aaron ran. Aaron, from what I understand, he's working with them. I tried to get him to talk, but he got away. He didn't get far. Uh, check the employee lounge. I'm sure he's hiding there. The key is in the locker behind me. Aaron is strange. He's easy to get to him. D try. Maybe he'll say something. And be careful. These people... <sighs> Don't fuck around. Okay. Yeah, sure. Thanks for your help. Oh, okay. So... <sighs> Man. Aaron? Dude, you want to chill out? Oh, shit. I... Okay. You got me. Just don't shoot, okay? You should be ashamed of yourself. You really threw me under the bus. Are you helping these people? Tell me what you know. I don't know. Shit, I don't know anything, okay? They threatened to shoot me. I let them in because they forced me. They told me to open the gate and keep my mouth shut. That's fine. That's fine. You really think I'm gonna believe this crap? You could have run away. You could have called the police. You could have even reported it to your bears. You don't understand. They know where I live. They know who I am. Dang. They wouldn't forgive me. They'd get me later. If you don't want to go to jail for complicity, you'll help me. You call one of them, tell them to come over here. Are you crazy? Uh, call him, come up with anything. I don't care. I want you to get him back here, okay? You're really crazy. So what? He comes in here, and what are you going to do? If he sees you, he will shoot you. And if he thinks I helped you, he'll shoot me too. Yeah, I don't even know what kind of plan. I don't even, uh, I see you're looking forward to a long sentence in bad luck. Oh, wait, what? Look. When you get out of here, you'll see the door to the hall. There's this big yellow machine across from it. Okay. That's a loud damn thing. If you turn it on, 100% of them will go there. This will be your opportunity. Mm, all right, now put your hands behind your back. You're under arrest. Okay, so use the machine. Got it. The machine. The machine. You're in handcuffs. You idiot. Thank you. Save it for the judge. You're going up in the slammer. Okay. So that's big yellow machine. Big yellow blue. What's happening over here? I don't know what's going on. I didn't get to look. I, I'm scared to look. You're scary you too. Anything? Still working on it. All right, all right. I'll stay here if you need me. Yeah, stay here. Be cute. That's the machine. <gasps> hey. Hey. Ah, okay, he's there. Alright, you wanna walk away? Where does it want me to hide, though? What is he doing? Okay. What does it want? Where am I gonna, like... Like, what's the goal for this? Can I save? Shoot. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, shit, the police, Jeffrey will be under arrest, ah, uh, no, 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 I don't, no, what are you, what are you doing? Did you establish anything? Okay, did I talk to him? Okay, okay. All right, good checkpoint. But what does it want me to do? Oh, maybe I hide here. Okay. So. Like that. There we go. That's much better. That's much better! Making progress. You're about to get bopped, bro. Get bopped! Boom! There's this big neutralize. Get out of here, nerd. Ba dingy, ba doingy. Wink, mine, mine now. Hee hee hee. I run away. Oh, I can't go upstairs. <laughs> Alright, can I read these? Because I'm about to have to take down this last guy. Um, He just cooperation through intimidation. Perpetrators are armed. Doyle is just, they're just doing smuggling. I mean, there's no really good details. Oh, that's one guy. What is he doing? Is it? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. Please, 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 please. Oh, I wish I had the sneak speed now. Stun. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right, now we're confronting Doyle. Oh, I need that sneak speed. Oh, I need that sneak speed. This was this was not it. I need it. I need it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, maybe I should talk to them. Hey. I'm not. Okay, never mind. <laughs> ne oh, maybe he's there. All right, let's not. Oh, maybe he's there. Shoot, where is he? Can I look in the truck? Nope. See if I can talk to any of the other ones that got arrested. Maybe they'll croak. What the hell? <laughs> How did you manage to? What the heck? You guys are smart. I admit that, but not that smart. I told Doyle to get rid of that security guard right away. I bet he ratted. Oh, so what? Doyle didn't listen? He told us not to hurt anyone. Said it was unprofessional and to keep it clean. This is bullshit. Oh. Now he's going to get what's coming to him. You moron. All right, so there are a little bit more details. You want to talk? I really don't know anymore. Okay, at least you're honest. What about you, doofus? Get off me, so I don't talk to cops. You don't get coppers. <laughs> Whatever. How'd you get in here? Who on the staff is helping you? Are you deaf? So I don't talk to cops. Stop freaking around and start talking. That guy got away from me. He's with you. You know, if I want, I'll press him hard and he'll spill the beans. Press him all you want. All you'll hear is a bunch of bullshit. He'll tell you how we threatened him and how he didn't want to do anything with us. Hmm. Was it any different? Of course not. He came to us himself. He said he'd help us pick up some high-quality merchandise in exchange for giving him a cut. Oh, why should I believe you and not him, huh? Because he's a dim-witted old fart. <laughs> anyway, do what you want. I'm not talking to you. I kind of believe this story more than the other one. Hey, doofus. I really... Oh, we can't confront him on that? Oh, that sucks. Oh. Where'd his plan go? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where'd his friend go? His friend leave? Oh, card reader's not working. What does this take me to? Oh. Oh, just to get like a scope of things? Okay. That kind of helps. Let's talk to the security guard, manager, and all that, and see if we can get any more information real quick. Going? What's going on over there? Uh. Who let them? Are you kidding me? And I suppose you can't tell. Oh, okay. So we just told him what's going on. And what about, dude? That other guy just took off. I heard a ruckus. I was right, wasn't I? Yeah, but the situation uh is under control now. Okay, so we just updated them. 
And perpetrators are armed. Card reader's not working. He joined on his free will. They spare the security guard. And neutralize, neutralize. Okay, so now we just gotta confront my mans. Let's see. I, I mean, we, we got a whole bunch of information in this case. So hopefully we pull through. There we go. Oh yeah, what's back here? I didn't actually like take a looky. Oh, it's just all closed. Okay, waste my time. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I didn't, I didn't want to know what's over there. Anyways, I didn't. I didn't want to know. All right. Is he gonna be standing right there? Oh no. Where is he? Don't jump me! What? Where is he? Is this all Mooney? Moon shot? Oh, there he is. Doyle! Doyle, you messed up big time, Doyle! Doyle! The police? Someone is clearly talking too much. Oh, uh, they all did, really. Shit. That is not what you said. Look, you seem like a smart guy. Let's do this right, huh? Put the gun down, let's talk. I like your faith and training methods. Keep trying, keep trying. Mmm, two out of four, freak! Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. We got this, we got this. Robbery was the point of this operation. No, it wasn't. The warehouse worker is cooperating with the suspect because he was intimidated. That's a lie. He's good at covering his tracks. Everyone is surprised that he was dealing contraband for every report of suspicious activity around the city's warehouse. Police always arrive too late. So sick always manage to escape. In the memo, we find details. The team's plans, actions, the memo belongs to the warehouse employee. Let's do this one. He is good at covering his tracks. I have to admit, somewhat impressed with you. You eluded us for a long time. We knew that there was more and more bootlegged moonshine coming onto the market, but... You didn't. To me, did you? Uh, yeah, I did. Whenever so who, whenever someone reported suspicious people hanging around the warehouse in town, we show up too late. You knew how to set it up so you can get there in time. But today it fell apart, huh? And your winning streak went to caca. Not a streak, idiot. Not a streak. Skills and talent. Mm -hmm -hmm. Anyway, nothing has gone wrong. I still have a way out. I can just shoot you. Take the boys and run. Doubt! Next time, pick your partners more carefully, because one of them lost the memo with your big plan for today. Now get out your paper and pen and draw a plan to get away from your pissed off selfie! Has anyone ever told you that you're a real asshole? Relax, huh? We're talking. Oh, that helped! Oh, that, that helped so much! That helped so much! We got this, we got this, we got this. One of the warehouse workers helped him out. There's no sign of warehouse break-in. One of the warehouse employees seemed to have decided to start take talking and claims that the suspect forced him to cooperate with him. He's either trying to draw some a trap uh, with this to save his butt. The, a witness saw a warehouse employee hanging around with the suspect in the area. He later gave a false statement saying he was a regular colleague. Warehouse worker cooperation... I don't think it was intimidation. I really do think that the guy was lying. And robbery is not the point. One of the workers helped him out. I know you weren't acting alone. Besides your two accomplices, who, by the way, are already off the hook, someone else was helping you. Someone from here. You didn't break in here today. Maybe we didn't have to. Maybe that old janitor forgot to lock up. Lies! I know who was helping you. Enough with the BS. He's got the advantage of being the first one to talk. You want to go through with this? Put the gun down. Don't be a freaking jerk, man. You don't. You don't know anything. Your shooting is totally off the mark. Not through. You two were hanging around here a few days ago. You and your silent partner. You were doing some recon, right? But don't worry. When you go to jail, someone will show you around. <laughs> but do you know that solving this puzzle won't get you promoted to detective? At most, it's senior slave to the officer. Oh, -ho, but that's great. That's amazing. We did it. Heck yeah, man! Give me that gun. Ooh, nice toes. Alright, into the slammer. No more PP jars for you, my guy. Now this 
These are the type of cases I live for. I know my rights. I don't have to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Everybody talks eventually. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, we don't even have to, like, log it in that we arrested them. Yay! Yay! We did it! Yay! Sweet, now I have to walk all the way freaking back. Maybe we should tell the boss and the um, security guard, too, while we're at it, saying that they're arrested. Just just to give us ourselves a little pat on the back. Still, a lot of stuff tied to the Mafia, and we haven't heard much about our brother lore story. Which I, I don't know if we're gonna going to. How's it going? What's going on over there? Uh, oh. What? Oh, okay. Looks like it doesn't matter. All right, freak me, I guess. No, uh, who are, are? Listen, you're stubborn, aren't you? The commissioner was right. If you put your mind on something, then that's just fucking it. What? What happened? I know you're snooping, and I know this is gonna end badly for you sooner or later. So. What? Hey, I'll help you out, okay? I'll work uh... for your brother some more. But don't think about this too much. Just. We were just mentioning brother lore. I lost somebody too. Aw. Just be prepared that whatever you might find, you might not like it. Oh, he has a heart. Okay, get back to work. We'll catch up later. Aye, sir. I'll get yeah, bye bye. I did it, by the way. Did you not see me? Okay, get back. Okay, I will. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. You don't have to hold your arms out like that. You can just sit them on your side. Like you got invisible lat syndrome. Wait a minute! That was a perfect yes, it was. Freaking hundred percent. Let's go. I am three out of five radio reports. I tried reporting it in. A new method for cravings, or how moonshine is conquering the market for stimulants. Alright. Where house security guard is one of the heroes of the moonshine operation. Oh yeah, not me. Not me. Don't worry about me. Uh, increase area of the perfect shot. Increase the maximum number of points to seven. What? Decrease handshaking by fifteen. Increase max speed. Max do hmm. Actually, I think I'm gonna save up. No, I'm not. <laughs> I thought I wanted to, but nope. I want to keep going. Ah, oh, we got new missions. We got four new missions. Oh my gosh. I thought I was gonna be able to, like, do all this in one good go. But now looks like it does not look like it. Fight at the bar. That sounds like fun. Good old bar brawl. What do we got? Why does everything have a gun, by the way? I think we need to kind of restrict gun licensing here, huh? Oh, it's so sclo- it's- Very loud! Fight at the restaurant, reporting party, the owner, involved people, three. Okay. What are you looking for here, huh? You wanna fight me, bro? You wanna fight me? You got invisible lat syndrome too? Please calm down, I'm an officer. I'm not asking who you are. I'm asking what you're looking for here. Uh, uh, all right, all right. I'll ask the questions here, okay? And please be a little more polite. Be more polite. I'm fucking polite. You're not gonna tell me. You're not gonna tell me. You hear me? You're not gonna tell me. Stupid fuck. Man, you are drunk. Are you okay? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You're fucking good. And you're standing there. Staring. Get lost, huh? Go away, I said. Who do you think you are? You're not going? Yes, you will. Oh, everyone's running inside. Oh, oh, everyone just ran inside. Suspects on drugs. Calm down, put the gun down. You don't want to get into more trouble, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna die. Donnie will shoot you. Donnie will shoot the cop. <laughs> uh, put the gun down. I won't say it again. Donnie, aim for the head. What? Ah! Oh, I should have gotten the aiming stuff. Huh. It, wait, I have taser. I have taser. Don't kill me, okay? Oh, oh. Ha 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 
Donnie's going to jail. Donnie's going to jail. It's okay, Donnie. You're just very lucky I had a taser. I'm gonna be honest. What do you want? Fuck off. Alright. Very nice guy. I'll be right out. First you tell me what the heck is going on here. Nothing is going on. I don't know anything. I won't say anything. I wouldn't even listen to you. You were kind of kooky. Man, you're not helping yourself. Calm down and start talking. Say what? I'm not talking. I already talked to that moron. He wouldn't listen. I told him not to do it. What? What did he do? Well, him. Him. He gave up his buddy's coke factory. To you. The police. To keep him out of jail. That's the deal, you know? What is this? What is this? Now he's got it. He's had it. They fold him around. Threaten him. He's pissed off. And he's persuading everybody. Who's he? I'm not talking anymore. Get out of here. Fuck. I spilled the beans. I'm not saying another word without a lawyer. Is he okay? I don't understand a single thing he said. I'm at the scene. This crazy guy started shooting at me as soon as I got out of the car. The guy's about 30, maybe 35. I'm pretty sure he was on something. Something strong. Are you injured? No, everything's fine. I'll check what's going on here and let you know. Be careful. Over now. Ooh, HQ worrying about us? Suspect has been neutralized. Copy that. HQ worrying about us? Hey, everyone can get out! Maybe it's a good thing they're all inside. Not to worry about them. You're fine! Hey! Hey! Everything's fine! You can come out now! Oh, you came out. Oh, you're the owner. Hello. What the hell is going on here? A little pew pew mission, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to determine. Are you the manager? The owner of the motel? We've been here before. Yes, the owner. But I didn't call the police. The bar, the bar called the police. Restaurant owner reported a fight. I was going to talk to him right away, but you saw for yourself. Yes, I, I saw. I hope you're all right. Oh, look who's you? caring about me. Uh, it's okay. Do you know this man? The one who shot at me? I have no idea who that is. I haven't seen him here before. Dang. Are you sure? Take your time and think about it. I'm sure you did. I don't know the guy. I'm sorry. You better go talk to the owner of the place. If he reported it, maybe he knows something. All right. That's valid. Uh, anything I need to worry about? Oh, this place got trashed. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Hello. Dang. Well, finally, someone from you guys has arrived. Did you not hear what just happened outside? Yes, good evening. I understand you reported the incident. An altercation. That's a nice way of putting it. They were simply punching each other in the face. There was some bloodshed. Man, with all this music going on in the background, too? I can't imagine having a fight with this music in the background. <laughs> Tell me exactly what happened. What exactly? There were three of them. Oh, three. They ordered some food, sat down and talked. Everything was polite, but at some point they started to fight each other. Oh. They quickly started throwing punches. Although it was actually the one who started. He was beating the other guy like he really wanted to beat the life out of him. I'm telling you. Was that the guy outside? There were three of them, right? Two of them were drinking and the third one? He was standing there staring. He was really wired. And then he came out and... I think that's the guy you met in the parking lot. One of the two eventually left too. The other one stayed here. Oh. Okay. So we had to find... Talk to the restaurant and find the beaten witnesses. Dang. Did you hear what was going on since they started fighting all of a sudden? You don't know what it's about. You know what it's about. The money. One guy said it was too much. Another guy said it wasn't enough. Oh, that's it? You didn't hear anything else? I don't know if it's important, but one of them was saying something about a team. I don't know which one, and I don't know where from, but he was saying that if their bosses got wind of it, it would get majorly nasty. Oh. Maybe they didn't know about this money. I don't know, I'm just guessing. I was afraid to listen. I'm sure you understand. I get that. Uh, gang problem. Alright, the two who were slapping each other around. One left, the other stayed, right? Yeah. The one that was left behind got hit real bad. I think he's in the bathroom. Dang! Oh, he's in the bathroom. Cool. Uh, do you know where the other went? The one who beat him up? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Ugh, I have to go around the whole freaking hotel now. It was over. And as soon as they left, I called you. 
Oh, that's good. Uh, was there anyone else besides you and the three involved? Any of the witnesses? Yes, yes. The boy and the girl. They were together. But as soon as things got hot, they took off. I know they were staying at a motel. Oh, I had to go through the entire motel now. Three yeah, more. Are you alright? Are you alright? Sir, I'm sick of this place. Not long ago, some lunatic was imprisoning women here. Now this fantastic... Oh, career. so yeah, at least they remember. Okay, I, we just don't girl, remember the you know, freaking the guy then. Who hangs around and gives us great PR. Oh. Nothing more to say. Unless there's something else you want to ask. Uh, dang. Prostitute near the motel. All right, gotta get some work done. Thank you. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna go out for a smoke. I'm shaking from all this. Oh. I still have to clean up this mess. If I could help you, I would, but I'm an officer, so... Is that blood? Interesting. Hello? Hello? Huh. I don't like this! Why can't... Oh, snap. Did he crawl out the window? Oh my gosh! Not in the female one? No, the female one's clean. Uh, shoot. He crawled out the window. <laughs> I phased through the window. Hey! Why'd you crawl out? You okay? Oh, you just look sad. <laughs> Embarrassed? Uh, well, it had to end like this. How you doing? You guys got a little carried away, huh? You got hit pretty good. What's the matter with you? Why are you sitting here? It's not a face made of glass. It'll heal if I survive this evening. Okay. I should be at the other end of town by now, but I think there's something wrong with my ribs and I couldn't climb the fence. Eesh, you got a broken one. I take it you're not going out through the door like a normal person? Are you afraid? What about the one who put you through this? Yeah. Alex. Alex Delfino. He plays the big boss, but he's just a piece of shit. He'd sell his mother to the devil just to save his own ass. Dang. He'd throw us under the bus, too. That kind of guy. Stand up, man. You wanna know more? I'll sell you. But you gotta protect me from him. I'm sure he'll come back and try to finish the job. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't want to deals like this blindly. You gotta give me something more. Yeah, right. You're not fooling me, man. You're under arrest. Uh, no. Let's keep talking to him. All smart asses. You're no better. Alright. Look. Okay. Start from the beginning, one step at a time. You two got into a fight because... One at a time, one at a time. We had a little fun. Got an attack of the munchies like you wouldn't believe. Desperately needed to scar something down, so we ended up here for food. We started talking nonsense, actually. Somewhere in that pile of bullshit, it came out that Alex slept with my sister. A hundred years ago, at a party, and they were drunk. The bastard couldn't even remember her name. Delfino went crazy. The pills did their job, so it was no holds barred. You can see how that turned out. I don't even know if I believe that. Alex Delfino, can you tell me more about him? Selfish, a moron, and a hypocrite. He only watches his own ass. The rest of the world doesn't matter to him. Okay, that I can... She's worried about herself. Oh, it's a female. What are you actually doing here? Are you on the road, or...? Alex got some designer drugs. He figured he'd deal them. Apparently the kids are taking them wholesale now, but the competition got wind of him and started threatening him. Oh. He had to change face and ended up here. But I don't think it's gonna last long. Okay, changing the chop shop. Where's that Delfina Before now? Before he started beating me up, he said he cleared out the motel room next door. I don't know which one. I slept in the car anyway because I'm tight on cash. Oh. Uh, you talk about others, but not nothing about yourself. Because I don't have much to talk about. I regret getting into this mess. I was sick of the normal work and the exploitation. Thought I'd be better off playing with Delfino, but. All I can say today is you stepped in shit, Charlie. Yeah, this is why you don't do those things, you know? That's why they're kind of illegal. It's a little late for that kind of thinking, isn't not it? Not really your problem, is it? <laughs> no. Uh, okay, um, I hope you're not lying, Charlie. I think it's time to look for the Alex guy. I'm not lying. I told you what I knew. Uh, do you need a doctor to look at you? He really slapped you around. No, come on. My teeth are fine. The rest will heal. It's okay. What about your ribs? You don't have to cuff you right, then we'll talk over at the DA and station, but for now. You're not setting me up. Uh, I don't really want to set you up, but you know. Alright. You know, you already went through a lot, as you can tell with all the blood, so like, I think you're fine. 
The beaten witness must survive. And? Did you find him? Uh, not yet. I need you to tell me. The beaten witness must survive. No one's gonna come over here, though, right? Second suspect neutralized. Wounded victim found. One of the three reasons for the notification identified Alex Delfino as the perpetrator of the fight. Guy really beat the crap out of him. Okay, we're checking him out. Okay. Find Alex. Interview the couple. I don't think anyone's gonna really bother that guy. Information from the file. Anything for me? This file is bursting at the seams. Old Delfino, Alex's father, used to work for us. He was a policeman. We have no record of what he's doing now, but he retired some time ago. Besides, the younger Delfino has a thick chapter on beatings and robberies in his record. Alright. Seems like he made a deal with us after one of these kind of stunts, which is why he didn't end up behind bars. Strange because when we wanted to make him an informant in exchange for protection, he refused. Let's close the door. Let's try to protect our guy. Even though these type of people just run through doors, apparently. But the beaten witness must survive. That should be fine. You wanna, you wanna close this door? There we go. Hey, are you the prostitute? No, you're the store owner. I think I already told you everything. Uh, okay. And everyone's in their room. Hey, except for not you. What are you doing out? Oh, and not you. Anything happening on the s No. Okay, I wanted to make sure that there was nothing happening on the side. Open window. Why would I want to do that right now? Let's talk to the ones upstairs. Hi, Darren. Are you the prostitute? That's a big room. You the prostitute? Oh, the police. Well, how's the situation downstairs? Did you get it? I was gonna stay till tomorrow, but I don't know if I should go somewhere else. Uh, don't leave the room for now. Best thing to do is just stay here. You know, I've seen a lot. Why don't I tell you? Oh, I you know it. Guys walking into this restaurant next door. Obviously, they were pretty fucked up and on something stronger than booze. Okay. Not even 15 minutes passed before I heard screaming, banging, glass breaking. They got into quite a fight in there. Then two of them left the pub. One went up to the motel floor, and the other stayed in the parking lot. I watched him for a while because I thought I saw a gun on him. Okay. Well, and then you came. And then we neutralized him. Or did you see a couple of young people who were also at the restaurant at the time? Apparently they left as soon as the other guys started messing around. Oh yeah, they were like that. As a matter of fact, they left as soon as it started to get hot. Okay. Did you see where they went? I don't know exactly, but it's definitely the first floor. And first floor. And the other end of the building. First floor, other end of the building. Okay, you said one of them went upstairs to the motel, right? Yeah, but I can't tell you where he disappeared to. I haven't seen him. I think it's somewhere at the other end of the building. Otherwise, I'd have seen him till he got to the end, right? Okay. The one that was left in the parking lot, can you tell me more about him? I don't know. Aggressive and impulsive? But I guess everybody's like that after drugs. He was totally out of it. Primitive. That's all. Uh, aggressor, thank you. Sir! Oh, alright. Interesting. Hey! What are you doing sneaking over here? I'm glad you're alright. Is it over? <laughs> I just love these little typos. Little mister. Mister Johnson. <laughs> like, not a mister, but mister. Uh, I'm trying to figure it out. Don't you leave the room now, okay? After what I saw? You don't have to tell me twice. What did you see? Are you talking about the shooting? Yes. I was so afraid that crazy guy would start shooting at us too. I heard someone arguing in the parking lot, and I came out of my room and saw him. Actually, it was you and that man. All right, all right. I'm not serving you anymore. Please stay in your room. You're not even in your room. First floor. Close. Can I talk to the owner to get keys? Or no? Yeah. You want to ask me something? Why would you leave that TV on if it's going to make that noise? The witnesses testified that the perpetrators of the fight at the restaurant are most likely guests in the hotel. Any idea who they might be? A lot of people come through here every day. It's not a five-star hotel. It's... You know, you can see for yourself. I don't really know who my guests are, and I really don't care. You're a stand-up guy. Alex Delfino. You ever heard of this guy? You're very stubborn. I don't know anyone like that. Give it a rest, will you? <laughs> Stan Lee? Stan Lee owns a hotel now? Don't you keep record? Don't you keep record of their names? At the motel? 
Man, a guest comes in, puts down his money, gets a key, and that's it. I don't give a shit about the rest. Wow, you cursed even though your writing didn't curse. That's all for now. Thank you, stand-up guy. I like that drawing, though. That's cute. Alright, see you later. Good gosh, that poster. I feel terrible for you. Uh, you. Are you the prostitute? <laughs> oh, it's so creepy. Hello. You. Please, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, where's that guy going? He just, uh, he just left. Yes, of course. I was called to a fight in the restaurant. Do you know anything yes, about it? My husband and I wanted to call the police. We were oh. at the restaurant when it all started. You're the couple. Are you alright? I heard the situation was tense. We are fine. We got the hell out of there as soon as those guys started messing around. A little while ago, we decided to go somewhere else. My husband is packing his bags in the car right now. Got it. Apart from the fight itself, nothing else bothered you or your husband? It's hard to say. It was a little tense at first, but my husband and I tried not to pay attention to them. Okay. I didn't want to hear what they were talking about and then shouting to each other because I was simply scared. But at some point, it was just impossible not to listen. So what were they talking One about? One of them growled to the other. How could you fuck my sister, you bastard? Just, you know, maybe in different words. Okay, so the sister thing was real. If you want, you can talk to my husband, too. He's by the car. Maybe he heard more. He slept with his sister. <laughs> Thank just, you. Sir, what's hard, with these okay? sirs thing? He has health problems, and this situation has made him very nervous. Alright, I'm gonna interrogate the frick out of this guy. This guy's about to have a heart. You have health problems, but you're smoking. Explain! Explain! Health problems, but smoking. Alright, whatever, buddy. So talking to my wife. Sorry I didn't join in, but uh, I was on the phone. Quick, look. It's him. Oh. Up there, and I think he has a gun. Oh, what do you want me to do? Oh, oh, I have to, I have to intervene! Intervene! I'm intervening! Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Oh my gosh. You want something? If not, get out of here and don't bother me. Oh my gosh, that actually freaked me out. I didn't understand what was happening. He was going to go kill the other guy. He was going to go... Oh, woo! Wait, I'm not ready. I wanted to read my information. Stop this nonsense, Delphina. Put the gun down and don't do anything stupid. Nonsense? You think I don't know your methods? Stupid tricks? Please... Prove yourself, big cop. Oh! Oh, good arguments. Three out of five. Okay, okay, okay. So two of them are wrong. Loyal to your colleagues. We know from a witness that arguing about splitting profits. Sounds like warned his friends about threats at the end of the gang. That's why he changed the chop shop. He slept with his buddy's sister. What? Fear of gangs. We know from an informant that suspect has been in beef with one gang. Soon gets has been drill. Murder several years. Uh, what? We know... His record that he was a pretty big troublemaker. This is true. Only cares about his own butt. Uh, okay, I think these two are the true ones. Let's do beatings and robberies. You like to make a mess of things around you. Your record is a mile long. Beatings, robberies. Blah, blah, blah. I know what you have there. I know my shit, okay? Yeah, and it stinks too. Alright, you busted your friend's nose, but you let the others have it, didn't you? Because the dumbasses were staring. What am I? A monkey in a zoo? I mean, you act like You'd one. You'd be pissed too. Nope. Ah, that was good. Okay, he allowed himself to be recruited as an informant. No, he didn't want to be an informant. Yeah, he turned down the offer. That's, see, it shows like a con, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not the right thing anyways. Only cares about your own booty. Look. I know the only booty you're interested in is your own. <laughs> the last tits and ass that were of interest to me belong to this young. Katie or Amy something. Is that the sister? Oh my gosh, this dude's a piece of crap. You already knew how to avoid prison once. We got paper on that, right? You really want more people to hear about your show? You'll go to jail and you won't last two days in there. Who says I'm going to jail? Get a grip. We're talking, right? Ah, uh, whatever, bro. Some. Towards myself. <laughs> ah, yay! I don't have to find out the last argument. If it was a guess, I think it would be fear of gangs, not loyal to the colleague. All right, all right, we'll work it out. Why all the craziness? Because you were gonna go kill your buddy. 
You're a dummy. You were trying to go kill your freaking person that you freaking kicked his teeth in. Awful human. Awful. To jail, you rot. Into the slammer. Solitary forever. Alright. One and done. Suspect neutralized. Uh, 1076. Another suspect has been neutralized. Back up on the way. I know my rights. I won't say anything. <laughs> Good. You'll be questioned at the police station. Can we let the doofus back here know that he's safe now? Doofus! Ding dong! He was gonna kill you! I saved you! Honestly, if it wasn't for that wife, he would have gotten away. And? Did you find him? Yes, it's all over now. I'll take you to the police station right away. This is a must. You probably saved my ass anyway. Yeah, he was freaking gonna kill you. So, is he the one that slept? Suspect knowing that his buddy would get mad when he found out he slept with his sister anyway. Dude, what a piece of dirt. And he was gonna go kill him. Oh my gosh. Entitlement. Arrogance. Narcissism. Red flags. Be single forever. The only tale you're getting is another man's. Complete the mission. 100% baby. What? Get into the criminal's room and secure the evidence. Oh man! Oh, because there was drugs. Oh, Yeah. And now for the news. Police officer on the trail of designer drug group. Yeah, they were on the whole thing with drugs. Hotel maid implicated the designer drug group. The suspect was stopped during a routine traffic stop. She was carrying a gun. <laughs> she freaking took it all? She was carrying a gun and packages of designer drugs with the police belonging to a drug group operating. <laughs> she said that she was detained. She wanted to make a few extra bucks for her trip to Radom. That's hilarious. That silly little maid. She thought she could get away with it. Oh man. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. But I do think I am done for now. Uh, small stream, I know. Hate me. Hate me. It's fine. It'll be okay. Tomorrow, I will be streaming. We will do another Midnight Scenes game. That will be really fun to do. Um, and so, yeah. So, hopefully, we can do that. And then, I think streaming is schedules might change a little bit when it comes to time-wise. But I do need to... Corey has been yelling at me to keep up consistency, so I will try my best. But, thank you all for supporting me, watching me, following me, and subscribing to me. Thank you for our Anna and Corey and all the other ones who joined Talk. And I appreciate you guys all truly, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys! Bye!